to my YouTube channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Twee. So today I am back with a clothing haul. I feel like I haven't done a clothing haul for so goddamn long. I'm not gonna lie guys, clothing was the least of my worries with the whole quarantine situation. I've literally been living in my pajamas for the last 30 weeks. It is so late at night right now guys. It is 10. 51 at night time, but we're here. We're filming this haul. We're consistent up in this bitch Okay, we ain't letting no quarantine stop us in our tracks Okay, I think I just managed to slide into the misguided website just when they restocked or something because there was a lot more Sizes and a lot more stuff available this time So I'm filming this haul for you guys getting it up for you Hopefully there's still gonna be some stuff in stock I'm gonna leave all the things in the description box So if you guys want to see a super cozy try on haul then please keep watching <laughs> If you actually saw what my room looked like right now, you would think that I have a little tail and a snout because it just literally looks like a pig has been living in here. There's food over there, there's some snacks over there, there's makeup everywhere, there's some pants on the floor. Okay, so I've got my bag of goodies here. These jeans are actually from Misguided. I get so many compliments on these jeans whenever I wear them. And then this bodysuit is from Zara. Okay, let's just pull this out on the floor because it's a very heavy bag, okay? This haul's gonna be really, really short because it's really, really casual stuff that I picked up. Okay, so the first one are these shorts. I saw my friend Cece Clark. If you guys don't follow her, please go follow her. She's so amazing. She does amazing lip tutorials. She's a really close friend of mine. She done a DIY pair of shorts on her Instagram stories. And I was like, oh, I really want a pair of like just really casual shorts. And I saw these running shorts on the website and I was like, oh my God, these are literally like perfect. If you guys can't get your hands on a pair of shorts like this, if you have some old tracksuit bottoms that you don't wear anymore you can literally just cut the leg and then you just stitch it on the side and fold it up and I love grey it's like a really nice neutral colour where it's not dark like black where you'll be really hot in the sun and then white is just like oh you're gonna spill some sauce on that so I feel like grey is like the perfect in between a shade you know what I mean and then to pair with it I picked up this little vest I've been really really obsessed with vests recently even though at the moment I'm wearing a bodysuit I really wanted something like this but in more of a vest so that you don't have to like you know pop it in between your fanny and stuff like that. It has a little lemon here which says simply the zest. <laughs> so cute i love that little play on words if you guys don't know lemonade is one of my favorite drinks of all time and i feel like whenever i go to america you guys have the best lemonade we don't have lemonade in the uk it's not a thing over here obviously this is not a cold but i still think it'll look cute together i actually think these shorts will go with a lot of items inside this haul so these shorts are so stinking cute. They literally fit exactly how I managed it in my head. Okay, so first impressions, I love the shorts. The shorts literally fit perfectly. These are size eight in the UK. You know when you have an image in your head and you're just like, ah, it's come to life. It's not too short where it shows the booty cheeks, but it's short enough where you can still see the shape of that ass. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Girl? The vest, however, I wish I would have got this in a smaller size or I wish it was a little bit tighter. I got the vest in a size 8, but it's a little bit big. I hate it when vests are like baggy like this. But I do have some tracksuit bottoms that are like a navy colour and I struggle so much to find tops that kind of go with navy. I don't know, it's quite a weird colour to wear so I think this vest will go really, really nice with that. Okay, I think this vest would look so much better if I just use a little hair tie. Do like a little knot? Yeah! Yeah! I like it guys! Mm. Makes it look a bit more snatched, it brings in your waist a little bit. Also guys, I have gained so much weight during this quarantine, okay? Please do not judge me, my arms are waving goodbye at the same time as my hands, okay? <laughs> I feel like this look would be so cute for like a picnic, going out to the park. The vest is like a nice lightweight cotton. It feels really, really weird to show you guys really casual stuff. I don't know why. I always feel like when I come on here, I need to show you guys like the cat suits and the jumpsuits and the play suits and all of these different types of suits. So now that I'm here, I'll show you guys basically pyjamas. <laughs> It's a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of you guys actually wanted me to film a pyjamas haul. Let me know if you guys do wanna see that because I love pyjamas. You can never have too many pyjamas. 
I need all the pyjamas in the world. Okay, next up, I have this little crop top. Oh my god, this one goes so well. Oh my god, this looks like a co-ord. So when I saw this on the website, it actually had matching shorts that were sold out in my size. But something that I learned from Misguided is that you should always pick things up when it comes into your size. And then you can always pick up the matching item later. I do notice that Misguided keep a lot of their items on their website. Sometimes I find like Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo, they'll have one size and then once it's sold out, they don't restock it. Whereas I feel like Misguided restock a lot of their items so I picked up the top and I feel like this top is like a really easy one you don't have to necessarily wear it with the co-op this top will honestly go with so many different bottoms and I really like the fact that it has like a little twisty twist here I picked it up in a size 8 okay guys so this is what the top looks like on I don't know it's the first meant to look like this I don't know I swear it's so much better on the model <laughs> recently in the UK it's been so hot during the daytime and then as soon as you step into somewhere that's shadowy or you go inside of a supermarket it's so cold obviously the aircon is blasting and then you're like so when you wear things like a vest it's like not enough fabric so recently i've been really liking like t-shirts that have a bit more of like a longer sleeve i think this is just like a really cute easy top to wear it will honestly go with like tracksuit bottoms with these shorts are like so cute i'll probably wear these two together if i'm honest I feel like in my wardrobe, I've been missing that they're essential items. Normally, whenever I am on a press trip, or I'm going out somewhere, I'm always wearing these like lavish outfits and jumpsuits and stuff like that. But when it comes to day to day, I noticed that I didn't really have like the essential stuff. So that's what mainly this kind of haul is about. Oh my God, guys. So I'm literally just looking at everything and they are all basically tops. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. So I need to take a second to talk about these bralettes from Misguided. So I feel like I've been seeing every everyone and their mama wear these bralettes and I've actually had these for ages I have it in black and I have it in grey and they're just such good essentials to have inside of your wardrobe it's basically like a little halter neck bralette there's no buckles or anything like that you literally just slip it over I picked it up in two shades this one is a bit more of a nudie colour and then this one is a white so I'm going to try these on for you guys and show you how I'd wear these okay guys so this is what the bralette looks like on obviously if you were to wear it by itself it's a very revealing kind of top but I would normally wear it with something like a loose shirt on top of it I just really love this style like if you wore these with like boots as well it just looks like so cool and effortless you know also sometimes I would roll up the sleeves as well I feel like this is a really good kind of like outfit that you'd wear when you want to go to the park you take this off if you want to sunbathe or something and then obviously if you feel a bit more colder you can literally wrap this up pull down the sleeves and then you basically got like a little t-shirt kind of dress it just looks so cute with just like boots it makes it look a bit more casual cool vibe you know the boys want to come to the yard yes it comes in so many different sizes they have one in a really nice khaki color that i really wanted but they didn't have it in my size i obviously had my boobies done so i picked them up in a size 10 and if it's really really nice I could probably even get away with a size 8 but I just wanted to make sure that my tits will fit into them you know let me know do you guys like seeing like styling videos and how I would style the outfits because I could do another video on that let me know okay so the next outfit that I picked up is this little vest here I got this in a size 8 but I would recommend sizing up in this because it does come up a little bit tight like when I was putting my head through the hole I had to do the whole coming out of the womb situation you know because the hole is tight so i got this in a size 8 but i should have picked up a size 10 but i really like this because it's a really nice nude color i don't know if you guys can see but it's got like this ribs kind of detail to it it's not just like a simple cotton it's also double lined as well which is really really nice sometimes i find with these kind of ribbed patterns if you have bigger boobs or if it's a bit too tight for you when you stretch it out it goes a little bit see-through but this is actually double lined so it has a little layer at the back which is really really nice but i love the shade of nude guys it's such a nice tone of nude it has like a slight pinky kind of undertone to it it looks quite simple at the back i wish it had more of like a racer type back i think it'll look a bit more sexy but it's still cute you know you guys saw the zara bodysuit i was wearing i basically wanted that but not in a bodysuit and i feel like this is like the perfect kind of vest just a nice simple basic you know mm. Okay, so while we're talking about basics, I really wanted a nude kind of jumper jacket type situation. So I saw this on the misguided website and I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. So I picked this up in a size 8 and it's a part of their petite range. Oh, I'm so gutted guys because this actually had a matching tracksuit bottoms to it. But it was sold out in my freaking size. But oh my god, I love it. Even though it's in a petite range, it has like an oversized fit to it. And I like the fact that this one doesn't have a hoodie as well. I have a lot of kind of zip up jackets like this and they're all kind of like hoodies, which is 
it's fine but it kind of gives off like a different type of vibe do you know what i mean i actually love things when they're branded like this i love things that say like misguided all over it or pretty little thing all over it i really wanted just a simple lightweight cardigan to wear especially when we go bike riding it's so nice and sunny at first but by the time we come home it gets so so cold so i wanted something small that i could just chuck inside of a little bag i'm coming up do, do, i want the world to know got to let it show i'm coming okay you guys will soon know that when i have an obsession about something i need it in every single color every single size every single style I don't know what's wrong with me guys. You guessed it, more vest. But this time, this is in a more like a slinky kind of material. Similar like how the Zara bodysuit that I had earlier. This one is more like a cotton kind of rib. So this came in a two pack, which is really, really nice. So I got it in a size eight. So inside the pack, it has more of like a mauve kind of nude, which is really, really nice. I don't have anything this color. And then it also has a really nice simple black. I mainly wanted the black. So I'll try this on for you guys so you can see how it fits on. Okay guys, so this is is what the vest looks like on. I literally just paired it with these little cycle shorts. These are actually also from Misguided. I love the vest. It's exactly what I wanted. Do you know when you just want like a plain black outfit? Perfect girl. This even would look so cute if I paired it with this little flannel little number as well. Like, yeah, it's just like so effortless. These are the things that I've been missing for my damn wardrobe, you know? You know, sometimes you just don't want to wear a crop top. You want to like cover up your belly. This is what I need. All my tops are literally crop top. They show my midriff and you know, sometimes when I sit down, I'm a bit self-conscious you know, with the rolls hanging out of the crop top. So this is really a really nice way to be nice and snatch, but not wear bodysuit. I'm not gonna lie guys, sometimes I feel like bodysuits. It gives me like a rub down there that I don't want, like a little itch. Sometimes I feel like if I'm walking too much, I have like a little wedgie that I have to pull out. And when I'm going to the toilet, I have to either pull it off or unbutton it. And then it's really hard to pop together later. I don't know guys, it's just a bit of a nightmare. So now if I need to go to the bathroom, I can literally just pull up this top and pull my pants down and it's fine, you know? So just to show you guys the length of the vest, it's got a really nice length to it where it kind of like hits just by the top of the hips, which is really nice. And also it has like a built-in kind of bra to it. So if you've got quite small nipples, you probably don't need a bra of it. I've got some hefty ass nipples, guys. My nipples are like headlights, like they're always pointy 24-7. I don't know why, guys, so I always have to wear nipple covers. I do like the fact that the bra bit is double layered because sometimes whenever you wear stuff like this and it's not got double layer, when you take flash photography, you can see your nips through it. <laughs> I know it's just me and my big ass areolas, okay? That's the struggles that I'm dealing with right now. Okay, so next up, I totally got inspired by Sarah Ashcroft. So if you guys don't follow Sarah Ashcroft, you guys need to go follow her. Her YouTube videos are amazing, but she does a lot of styling videos. And I really love the way that she kind of paired up baggy jumpers. Well, normally, whenever I buy jumpers, I buy it in my size. But she said in her videos that she always buys oversized jumpers. And I was like, oh, I really like that kind of vibe. So we're gonna try it on today. Oh my God, this is huge. I feel like this was over size anyways and I still brought a size up so I got this in a size 10 and it literally looks like a tent I'm scared to go in this hole guys with all my makeup and wearing white ah! <laughs> I just hit my ear <laughs> oh, fuck. at least I didn't get makeup on the jumper I lost my earring in the process guys why did the oversized look look so good on Sarah and on me I literally look like I gained 500 pounds. She made it look so cool. Oh, this is what happens when you try to copy famous Instagrammers. I said, eh, 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 I don't know why I keep singing that ketchup song, guys. I'm kind of getting cool vibes slash crazy vibes. It is really, really nice and cozy. I think this is more of like a winter kind of outfit. Or if you're going out in the evening, you can wear it with little shorts like this. I don't know, guys. She made it look so much cooler. Something I have to tell you guys about. So since I had my BBL and had my boobs done, I now have to be really, really cautious of wearing oversized stuff. Because my hips are wider and my boobs are bigger, if I don't snatch in my waist, it makes me look a lot chunkier than I am. So that's that's why when it comes to oversized stuff, it's a little bit scary. Anyways, this is how I would wear this jumper. Super nice and like oversized, really, really baggy. Every single time I want to be comfortable, but I still want to be kind of stylish, I try to pick it up in white and it just makes you look a bit more cleaner, 
are more put together. Do you know what I mean? I feel like grey and black, sometimes they look really, really casual. But sometimes you want to look like put together, but still be nice and cosy. That's why I feel like the white is cute, you know? I feel like this would be really nice for like the airport or something. I picked up this shirt and it's basically like a beach shirt, which is really, really cute. It kind of just looks like a button up at the moment. And I picked this up in a size 10 because I wanted it to be oversized. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on because at the moment it just looks like a black tent. Okay, so let's just put on that nude bralette that I showed you guys earlier in white. This is the nude colour. It's a little bit see-through, isn't it? You can't see my nipple covers through it. But this is what I was talking about. It's like a beach cover-up and it also comes in white as well. I should have picked up the white version. I have a lot of like unitards that are really, really tight and like quite skimpy looking. And sometimes it just looks a bit like, oh, you just see your body a bit too much. It looks a bit too sexy sometimes. So thrown over like an oversized shirt like this just makes it look a bit more casual, you know? It has like a really, really lightweight fabric on it. So I just think like if you're wearing a black swimsuit and you want like a good cover up, I think this is a really, really nice length as well. It's not too long, not too short. It just covers up your bum a bit. Has a little slit on the side as well, which is really nice. The little oversized number. <laughs> okay, so I picked up a new pair of pyjamas. I actually have never picked up any type of pyjamas from Misguided before, but this is called a teddy. That's what they classed it on their website. I don't know why. Why is it called a teddy? Who knows? But I picked up in a size 10, just so that it's like loose and like slouchy. Okay, so this is what the teddy looks like on. Very nice and slinky. Hey! I'm actually really glad that I picked up in a size 10 because when I was fitting it over my hips, this bit isn't very stretchy. This bit around the waist is like elasticated but this bit it hasn't got that much movement so i'm glad i picked up in a size 10 not a size 8 but yeah this is just something just like super cozy go around the house the fabric is amazing it's just like one of those really really lightweight fabrics and even when you wash it it doesn't really matter that you haven't ironed it because it's kind of got natural creases inside of it already okay anything that you don't need to iron count me up i wish these straps were adjustable they're kind of just like one length it would be nice if it had a bit more like a boobie or some sort of like shape around here but it's still really cute just around the house you know i think this bit is actually loose enough that you can actually pull this to the side and wee Psh. yeah you can guys so you don't have to take it all off oh my god that is the best thing ever guys something i really hate whenever i wear like these play suits when i go to bed in the middle of the night when i need to go wee i'm like oh i have to take this off and i have to pee naked and then get cold but this one you just Pull it to the side. You know what else that means, ladies? Easy access. <laughs> don't wear this if you don't want to be attacked at night time, okay? So last one and something I'm the most excited about, this little number right here. This is going to complete my collection of my misguided jumpsuits. So I actually had this in black. I loved it so much that I picked up in grey. And then when I went on the misguided website, they now have introduced it in a cream colour. My sister loved it so much that she actually picked it up for herself. And it's just one of those really nice jumpsuits that you can wear whenever you want to kind of quickly pop out and you still want to look kind of put together. I love the fact that it's kind of elasticated by the waist. I haven't got any jumpsuits in like a cream colour. Okay, guys, so this is what the jumpsuit looks like on oh my god this is definitely my favorite piece out the whole haul the thing that i love the most about these jumpsuits is that the elasticated waist is literally at the perfect bit of your body sometimes i find whenever i buy jumpsuits from like pretty little thing or other kind of jumpsuits the elastic is kind of like around here around your like muffin top and it just isn't as flattering like we want it in the smallest bit of our waist which is right here and then you want the pockets to kind of flare out so it gives you that really really nice kind of hourglass shape so yeah i really really like this one guys i feel like it just looks a bit more put together in white it has a hoodie as well so if you want to rob a bank you can still rob it you know for me this will be a perfect airport outfit to wear it just looks really really casual slip it on you can be naked underneath girl no one will know a damn thing okay guys oh my god i am so freaking tired and so hot i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this super super casual clothing haul obviously i know with the current situation that's happening we're not really going anywhere but still we can still buy some stuff for us to feel cute in honestly i feel like when you get new clothes you just have like a new energy you know i hope you guys found some things that you guys liked yourself and i'll make sure to leave all the links to everything down in my description also if you guys want to see how to create this makeup look it's going to be in next week's wednesday video if you guys enjoyed this haul please give me a little thumbs up it really really helps out my youtube channel and that's it for this youtube video guys make sure you're subscribed and i'll see you guys in sunday's vlog bye guys enjoy the bloopers Mwah.
Oh, pick my nose, pick my nose, pick my nose. Guys, fun fact, ever since I had my nose job, I can't really pick my nose anymore. <laughs> I remember before with my old nostrils, I used to go digging for gold, like literally digging for diamonds in there. <laughs> now my nostrils are like so small now, I can barely fit my finger in there. Twee TMI, that's my middle name. It feels so weird, guys, all this space to talk to you guys, like, hey. <laughs> my hair keeps getting fucking caught. Just things that you just need in your wardrobe, you know? You need that too. This fucking ear is gonna get caught in my ear. Oh my god, the earring just came off again. Are you joking? It's so fucking late and I'm so tired. I need to do a shit. I keep farting and this earring keeps wanting to come loose. This is Chloe Morello at the Halloween party. I'm actually really glad. I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad this fucking earring. Yeah. Grab you want some of this. Yeah, I want some of this ass. Well, you can't have it, you nasty. Look at this, guys. All from this damn earring. I can't wait to drop the kids off at the pool, you know. I'll show you, I'll show you. <laughs> 